feel just like a rock star. Hi everyone, welcome back to Rocket League Trading Prices. Today, we are going to go through the best items to trade with at the moment, and this will cover the best ones for buying cheap and selling for more, and some investments. Also, please consider subscribing and leaving a like on the video. It doesn't take long and you can always unsubscribe later. Thank you. Just quickly, before we get started, we would like to thank the sponsor of the video, Aoa. Do you ever find you don't have enough credits to buy all your favourite Rocket League items? And you don't like how most items from the shop are insanely overpriced and untradeable? Well, with Aoa you can buy credits and almost any item for reasonable prices, which will be quickly and securely delivered to your account. The link to Aoa's website is in the description of this video and make sure to use our discount code RLTRADING at checkout to get 6% off your order. The first items you should try trading with at the moment are the middle valued black markets. I would say this consists of anything from around the price of Heatwave up to the cheaper painted mainframes and slipstreams. Recently, I have had a lot of luck buying and selling these items since they are so common on the market, so I am able to buy a lot of them in a short space of time. And, since they are so popular, they sell very easily for mid price. In my opinion, I think these black markets are selling so quickly because more people are grinding the game, probably because they are trying to get their accounts to level 250. Therefore, people are buying themselves nice decals and cars to use whilst they try to level up their account. That brings us nicely into the second items, painted cars. Now, Everyone knows that the Octanes, Phoenix, and Dominus are great for trading with, but there are other ones that can also make you lots of profit. We would recommend pretty much any car, as long as you are buying black and white variants. This can be the Twinzer, Endo, Jaeger, Mantis, and so on, and these can be so easy to sell on. The black variants of cars, I have found, sell easily for their mid price, and I think that is because there aren't actually many pure black cards you can get in the game, which is why the black Jaeger and the black Mantis are worth so much more than their white ones, and also why they are so much more in demand. Also, we would just like to mention that if you are looking for some guidance on the prices you should be paying for the items we go through in this video, you should check out the two videos linked in the description, as in those we tell you about the best items to flip and the prices you should pay and the prices you should sell them for to ensure you maximize your profits. And whilst you're there, you might as well join our Discord server. We are planning monthly giveaways which only the top 20 members can enter. We are also going to reset the ranks every month to make it fair and the way you get into the top 20 is just to be active or just to spend some time in the spam chat. Hopefully, by now you have all made some RLCS investments because it is becoming a little late if you haven't done so already. But there are still some great ones that, when recording this video, are still good for you to buy, and that is the cheaper colours of the RLCS X decals and Fennec Yorbans, and also the white crown avatar border and painted deco punks. Now, we would never usually guide you to paying anything more than min price, but the RLCS X decals are insanely hard to get at the moment because everyone knows how good of an investment they are. So at the moment, I am paying mid to max price as I want to get a lot of these decals which I will explain why shortly. But for the other good investments, paying 50 to 100 credits under minimum should work well. The reason I am focusing the majority of my inventory into RLCS X decals is because they are the most likely item to be removed from drops and never come back into rotation. This is due to the fact that they are specifically made for the RLCS Season X, hence the name RLCS X. I will be very very surprised if these decals are not discontinued, which is why I am putting so many credits into these. The recent spike in the prices of the RLCS items was not because they were discontinued. I think it was because people were getting excited that they were soon going to be taken out of drops, causing the prices to spike. This is also why I think there will be a little crash in the prices between now and them being discontinued, 
but if you do decide to sell any of the items now, make sure you buy them again soon or else you might be a bit late for when they're actually discontinued. The final item that is great for buying and selling at the moment is painted standards. Since there is not a full set of this item, you might as well buy and sell every colour, because they are probably the most affordable and most popular boost out there, so they do sell very easily. For every colour other than black and white, we would say pay 100 credits under minimum. For white, you should pay 100 to 150 under, and for the black, paying 200 to 300 credits under minimum works well. You should not accept anything below mid price when selling these on. Thank you for watching. If you found the video helpful, please consider subscribing.